Hi, this is Brad Constantine, and this is a podcast recording of the Old Testament. Although this is not an official recording of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, every effort's been made to be as doctrinally accurate as possible. I'll be using for the text the Joseph Smith translation of the Old Testament, along with many commentaries from general authorities of the Church, BYU professors, Bible scholars, and others. This format will be very detailed, and so if you want a deep analysis of the Old Testament, you come to the right place. Thanks for your attendance. Welcome back. This is going to be for Jeremiah chapter 25. This will be just a few verses here. I'll read the heading first. Captive Judah shall serve Babylon 70 years. Diverse nations shall be overthrown. In the last days, all of the inhabitants of the earth shall be at war. Ooh, that's not good. Um, verse 4. And the Lord hath sent unto you all his servants, the prophets, rising early and sending them, but ye have not hearkened, nor inclined your ear to hear. Notice what he says, that, they, that they've risen early, which means that the prophets come just in time to prophesy and to turn them from their evil ways, just like our prophets today. Like the proclamation on the family was issued before it was needed. Now the proclamation on the, uh, the restoration is coming forth, and we'll see what that does. Verse 5, they said, Turn ye again now every one from his evil way, and from the evil of your doings, and dwell in the land that the Lord hath given unto you and to your fathers forever and ever. And go not after other gods to serve them, and to worship them, and to provoke me not to anger with the works of your hands, and I will do you no hurt. Down to verse 12, And it shall come to pass, when seventy years are accomplished, that I will punish the king of Babylon, and that nation, saith the Lord, for their iniquity, and the land of the Chaldeans, and will end it perpetual, and will make it a perpetual desolation. And then down to verse 32, Thus saith the Lord of hosts, Behold, evil shall go forth from nation to nation, and a great whirlwind or storm shall be raised up from the coasts of the earth. And the slain of the Lord shall be at that day from one end of the earth even unto the other end of the earth. They shall not be lamented, neither gathered nor buried. They shall be dung upon the ground. So this this sounds like uh, maybe the destructions at the end of the world here as we uh, have tribulations before the second coming. Um, so anyway, lots of things to happen. This is uh, the end of the chapter, and we'll see you next time. Bye.